Tell her about what happened to Sigurd. Good day, my love. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenfordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From oh, wow. Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Letter from Fulke to the wolf kissed one. Blessings of the self begotten one upon you, Ivor. I wrote only to ease your mind and let you know that Sigurd is in good hands and fine company. I will treat him with all the care he deserves. The order to which I belong has use for such a man. He is in many ways the pinnacle to which we aspire. A god in man's fleshy accoutrements. I only hope he comes to know understand this as well as I do before his suffering breaks him. Fulke, the instrument. Fulke's with the order of the ancients. The same order Chatve followed. The order that Bessam and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Interesting. All right. What's next? It's the Chabert letter. Read that already. So, let's see, I don't really have anything here. Let's see, where is she located? Oh, okay, so I don't know. I just know that she's a part of the order, so I can't really kill her yet. It's probably one of the last ones to kill, honestly. But, uh, alright. Let's see. Alright, oh, the leaf. She will kill this guy real quick, huh? Let's see, so he can be found repairing ships near the dock of Buckingham in Oxenfordshire. Prios Musilath. He was brought into the order by his colleague. Um, expertise in shipbuilding. Okay, let's see. Alright, Lath, time to meet your maker. Hey, boy. Goodbye. I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Alfred, from what I hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Hooger walks with a new beast. Air to what he tells. Flanking dash dash room. Oh wait, she is okay. I'm kill him too. So what's, what's, what's let's see what's her story? What's her story? Scabbard. She can be found in the Saxon military camp at Utbeck, across the river north of the town of Grantbridge. Platinus Leo of Gifu, the Scabbard. She's known as the Scabbard, facilitates all the Order's clandestine military activity in Grand Spurtshire. She procures weapons and issues exceptional orders to select units. Orphaned by the plague, Leo of Gifu grew up as a bandit and eventually sought work as a mercenary. The Order took notice as she proved herself an adept fighter and soon recruited her to the cause. As a valued mercenary, she quickly insinuated herself into a position of command by distributing luxury goods and favors to fellow officers. In turn, these officers turn a blind eye to what they believe to be simple contraband, but is in fact an amassing of powerful weapons meant for the order. Wow. Okay. Closest place, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't even know who this is necessarily. But see that's pure 
satisfy that tainted soul. Air for wine. Oh. Hey, what, oh, what the fuck? Creeping. He tore a man in two, then wooed and took nine glory twigs. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. Where the fuck is she, she snorting so much, bro? It's a fucking pig. Air for wine. A powerful warrior, Air for wine, is slowly slowed only by an injury she took to both knees in a runaway car accident in her youth. She has chanted charms and incantations for luck ever since. Hmm. Cola. I get for that nothing. Hold up. It's not bad. I should be cautious around here. Hey, bitch. You found me out. I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question? At such a time as this. Beneath your words is something of a size unknown. A mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. Scrappy and surprisingly tough, Cola likes to fight close in, but can handle a bow as well. His motto is, Blood Speaks True. Cola delivers emergency communications to the ads. Okay.
Oof. Oh shit. Okay. This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. <laughs> sure, bud. Oh? Hey, the anvil that adds the vellum. Okay, looks like I can uh, continue the quest now. Pretty much. Kendall. Kendall, Kendall. This guy? Oh, yeah. Wily and quick Kendall, the blood brewer, made her name by slitting enough throats to fill vats with blood. She is one of the favorites of the Order who assign her important targets. Alright, so she's gonna be the last one then. Damn it. Unclean vermin. Kendall, oh shit. Damn, what the fuck? Those big ass shields are so bright. Jesus. Fuck A. Fuck A. Ow. Damn it, man. Ow. <laughs> Bitch. Focus, we have this. Poor sheep. Bleat your lap. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, not you. God damn it. Oh shit. No, you fucked up. Oh, come on, man. Those fucking shields are so annoying. Ow. 
Ow! Unknowing and unknown, you fail! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, did he? What? Now the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion. Albion? What is this, Fable? Ken's dead. The anvil. Okay. Let's see what Hytham got for me. Hi, Tabor. You look. Oh, nice. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. I go in good. peace. Hell yeah. Nice. Okay, so I definitely want that. I think I'll replace it with the axe throw. I'm only missing two. That's cool. Hello, Avor. What is it you do here again? I've traveled this great country and found all manner of secrets, plus a few points of interest. For a price, my maps can be yours. If you want you access to my maps, I need access to a workshop. Bit. If you can't build me something, I'd appreciate it. I'm off. That's funny. Farewell, Eivor. All right. This is fine work, cool. really. Thank you for seeing this done. I've charted new maps. I would like to see what... See, hidden treasures can be found all over England if you know where to look. For a price, your cartographer Olsen can provide you with the coordinates to these lost treasures. Keep an eye out for wild animals here. Your beggar is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend sure. a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Huh. I'm doing good, man. Can't complain. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia. 
Taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. The hell? Yeah, man. Thanks. Why the hell are we... Why are we just... It was so much quicker if we just took horses or some shit. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. I like how he's just chilling, I have to fucking overbuild. Okay. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Okay. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Wh what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty <laughs> silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. <laughs> yeah? Oh, he's a little bit... <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> what was that about? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Alright. You're back.
Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. That's pretty cool. Baker's plate. 